All right, Patton. Come on, buddy. All right, so this is Patton's very first e-collar session. So we're just starting to condition him and introduce him to the e-collar, okay? I have not had it on him at all. This is the very first time. For those folks out there still very confused or have a misconception of how we use this tool, or at least how I use this tool, for the people that are trying to take our tools who, who don't quite understand it, I want to make something very clear. For one, I want you to watch the dog through this process, okay? I'm not trying to get the dog to do anything with the e-collar. He doesn't understand it. I'm not trying to stop the dog from doing anything with the e-collar. I'm not using the e-collar to try to work on the dog's obedience. In fact, I'm using the dog's obedience, the things he knows, the very simple things. Right now, it's only going to be the recall to teach what the stimulation of the e-collar means, okay? This is a very foreign sensation to him. There's not going to be any pain any discomfort even so we're going to find the lowest level possible that he feels something that he barely feels he doesn't know what it is it's foreign to him so it's our job to combine the stimulation from the e-collar with the verbal command and help with the leash when needed to teach the dog what it means so i'll be implementing the e-collar before the command when i give the dog the recall command the second the dog steps my way, not when he gets to me, the second he steps my way, I release the button on the e-collar, I mark with a yes, what he already knows, and then he receives a food reward. I'm not using his regular kibble, I'm using something of higher value right now. So this becomes a very good experience for him, okay? I'm not using the sound box because it's not fair to the dog. It keys them in on too much and it's too distracting and then they start moving to the sound of the beep, so that's not good. So it's going to be very simple, very basic, like every e-collar video I do, all right? So first thing we're going to do, we're going to search his levels. Okay, so he feels that right there. That was on a number five on a mini educator goes from zero to a hundred. You should never be up in those higher numbers. It's just not necessary. So now on a number five, that's where he barely feels anything. Like, not even sure if there's something there, right? So I lock that number in, that's where we're gonna start. If he doesn't respond to what I want, I'm not gonna go up higher on the e-collar. That's not the purpose here. The purpose of this first session, and many sessions to follow, is just teach the dog what the meaning of that sensation is. That's it. So we'll get started and we'll see what he looks like. And I'll tell you what we're doing as we go on, okay? Yes, good boy. Good job, Patton. Very nice. Good. We're going to take our time. We're not going to rush here. <laughs> what are you doing? Good job. So this is very boring, very slow. Very, very slow. Good. So now let's create a little space since he's staying close. I'll use my momentum, right? So we go this way. Pat and come. Yes, good boy. Good job. So you there? See, if the dog's staying close, I'm going to move forward with him and then back up as I'm implementing the e collar and calling him. We use that to create a little space with that forward momentum, okay? But if we're behind him here and his butt's away from us, pat and come. Yes, good boy. Good job. Very nice. That's the response I want, guys. Very, very simple. He doesn't know what it means, but we're teaching him now. We're teaching him. So when he feels that foreign sensation, he doesn't know what it is. But when he responds to the verbal command, he empowers himself by making that go away and not only making that weird sensation go away, but producing a reward also. Very empowering to the dog and very simple. Very, very simple. Good job. Good. Good. All 
right, so if he's standing this close, all right, he's moving away. Pat and come. Yes, good boy. Good job. But you see, I'm marking that initial behavior of him turning to come my way. That simple, guys. That easy. I say yes, and then I reach for the food. I'm not reaching for the food and saying yes at the same time. We want to break it down into all very small pictures, right, so the dog understands it. I hate this really long leash, but I gave my 10 and 8 foot leashes away. I keep giving my stuff away. I have nothing left. Pat and come. Yes, good boy. Good job. So remember, I'm going to say it again. We're not using the e-collar to teach the obedience. We're using the obedience that he knows, the recall, to teach the e-collar. Good. Good. So if he's right here, he's not giving you any space, right? Not a problem. We press, pat, and come. Yes. Good boy. Good job, Pat. Very nice. Good job. Again, we'll create some space. Come on, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Pat and come. Oh, yes. Very nice. That's a beautiful, beautiful response. Stop at a dime and come running. Come fast. The tail's going. He seems upbeat. You know why? Because he is upbeat. There's nothing negative about this here, guys. There's nothing negative about it. I can't stress this enough. For all you anti-e-collar people, I understand there's people out there that do terrible things with it. I really do. I hate those people more than you do, believe me. But what you have to understand is proper use of this tool keeps a lot of dogs in the home, keeps them out of the shelters, keeps them alive. And we have to start pushing that agenda more, okay? We could save a lot more dogs, a lot more dogs, if we utilize everything that's available to us, right? Yeah, you're a good boy. You are a good boy. But you see, I'm taking my time. I'm not doing a ton of repetitions, right? We're going really slow here. Watch out, bub. Come on, let's go. Come on. Pat and come. Yes. Good boy. Good job. Good job, Pat. And... Ready? Come on. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yes. So there was no e-collar there. He's giving me really nice attention, upbeat. I'm marking that eye contact. Really good job, buddy. Really good job. Come on, let's go. Pat and come. Yes. Good boy. Good job, Patton. Good boy. Go get it. Good. Patton, come. Yes. Good boy. Good job. Where the heck is the end of this leash, buddy? There it is, I think. Good. Good. Now it becomes a game. Go get it. Pat and come. Yes. Good boy. Hey, right here. Good job. You dropped it. Good job, buddy. Good. Now we're just making a game of it. Let him chase the food. Then I'm utilizing the e-collar to call him back. Good job. Good. Good. Pat and come. Yes. Good job, buddy. Good boy. That simple, guys. All I'm doing is teaching him a new language. He doesn't understand this language. There's not going to be any punishment. There's not going to be any corrections. You know, he's an eight-month-old dog who doesn't know anything. So imagine sending your child away to kindergarten and he makes mistakes or doesn't do what the teacher asks and he gets punished or corrected for it. It's not fair. He's here to learn. And that's all he's going to do while he's, he's here is learn. He's an open book and he's a beautiful dog. All right? Go get it. Pat and come. Yes, good boy. Good. But I will guarantee you this, the very radical left that wants to take our tools and no matter what you do, they don't really care about the well-being of the dogs. They don't care about saving dogs. They just have an agenda to remove our tools. 
they're never going to take a video like this and, and try to to push it to better their situation it's not going to happen because they can't they would lose it would make their whole agenda seem very very malicious and false they'll take videos of the people that us on the balance side that we can't stand that promote slapping the tool on the dog cranking it up and nailing them that's not what it's about guys you know dog trainings come very very far and that crap that people are still doing you know that's what they were doing 20 years ago there's no reason for it anymore okay you have to train with compassion right right buddy all right Whoa. good all right ready come on let's go come on pat and come yes good so in movement just getting him to turn and come to me he doesn't have to be far away again for those people that aren't sure I'm utilizing the continuous button before I give the command, okay? On super low levels, super low levels. The second he turns to come my way, that's when I release it and I'm marking that behavior with the yes. Now, the yes doesn't only mark that moment in time that the dog does what you ask, but it also knows, the dog knows that that produces the reward. So that should make him come faster. Everything has a meaning, guys, everything. But this is perfect. This is what I want to see, this kind of response. There you go, bub. Go get the food. Patton, come. Yes, good boy. Good job, Patton. That's simple. That's simple. All right, so how does the dog look? How does everyone think the dog looks? Does he look sad or in any kind of stress? No, he's not going to be the whole time he's here. But you also have to understand something, guys. The e-collar is a very small part of my training program with him and all dogs. Okay, very small part. Um, every day he's going to have marker training with food rewards without the e-collar. Every day he's going to have play sessions where we do all his obedience with only toys, playing. Play is a real big part of it. Dogs have to play. They do that naturally. We have to allow them to, to be dogs. We have to. So there's never just one thing, okay? Good. Go get it. Pat and come. Yes, good boy. Good job. Good job. Pat and come. Yes. Nice job, pal. Good. Good boy. Good. Pat and come. Yes. Excellent. Very nice, my friend. Very nice. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You look into that camera and you tell all the anti-e-collar people what this feels like. Patton, come. Yes. Good job, Patton. Tell them. Tell them, say, hey, people, protect my species. Help us save more dogs. Stop your games, right? Stop your games. Go get it. Pat and come. Yes. Good job, pal. Good job. Very good job. I know this is as boring as it gets, guys, but that's that's dog training. <laughs> you know, a lot of it is very boring. I live in Kentucky, so everybody waves. Pat and come. Yes. Good job. But you notice I'm not, I don't care about sit down, none of that stuff. I'm just teaching the meaning of the stimulation. Pat and come. Yes. Good boy. Good job, pal. Good job. Ready? Go get it. Pat and come. Yes. Good job, buddy. Good job. What you got? Yeah, we're gonna end this real soon. What do you see over there? What do you keep looking at over there? Come here, boy. Go get it. Good. Pat and come. Yes. Good job. Good job, buddy. Very proud of you. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Now, I'm gonna give him one more repetition. That's it, guys, that's simple. This is how long our first session's going to be. And then I'm gonna just give him a big hand of high value rewards. That's it, really simple. I won't do another e-collar session the rest of the night. The rest of the night 
it'll be obedience on leash without food, few minutes here and there, then it'll be more play. That's it. I don't do one thing. I do a bunch of different things throughout the day. Sometimes we're training with food, sometimes we're training without. Sometimes we're training with the tool, sometimes we're training without, okay? Pat and come? Yes. And then I just give them a big handful. Let them get it. Good job, Patton. Good boy. And that's it, guys. I mean, that's, that's literally, that's the thing. So here, again, he's on the mini educator on a number five. It's not about forcing the dog to do anything or stopping him from doing anything. There's no punishment here. There's no corrections. It's again, teaching the dog the stimulation. Now, people, every e-collar video, people say, well, if you're such a good trainer, what do you need e-collars for? Very simple, folks. I use e-collars for one reason, to provide off-leash freedom for my dogs and my clients' dogs. Plain and simple, to provide off-leash freedom. Allow the dog to have the best life possible. And if you're gonna allow your dog to be off-leash in any place you go out in public, well then there has to be some kind of safety mechanism. Now, if you teach this tool properly, then you can use it to make all the obedience that the dog knows better, faster, sharper, no doubt. And more importantly, for so many of the average dog owners, it can definitely be used to stop unwanted the problem is too many people out there still think that you have to hammer dogs with it you know that you have to be abusive listen that's not the case I thought I'd be done making e-collar videos because I've made so many over the years but I see the more people I talk to from all over the world we still have a long way to go guys they're trying to take our tools and we have to show people what these tools can do in the best light possible that's what I'm trying to do here. This isn't about fancy obedience. This isn't trying to sell anything or sell myself. I truly care about having the freedom to train the way we want to train. With that being said, for the people who do misuse these tools, off with their head. I despise them more than anyone. But you have to understand, if you took these tools, those douchebags are still going to be abusive towards animals. They just use other things. It's really that easy. It's that basic. So I'll keep you posted on how we're doing with eight month old Pat in here. He's a beautiful, beautiful dog. But you get to see, I used the e-collar there every command I gave him. I also rewarded every command I gave him. And that's what it's all about, guys. I'm teaching him something completely new. He's going to learn it. So this way, when he's off leash, we can trust him 100%. Doesn't matter if a rabbit runs by, doesn't matter if a deer runs by, it don't matter if a naked cat but naked cat runs by with a raw ribeye strapped to its back giving him two middle fingers you could always trust the process and that's really important what do you think Patton? what do you think buddy what do you think buddy i know you're such a good boy tell the world say you got to help us we have to save the dogs that we're losing right we're losing too many dogs there are people out there guys trainers that would rather have a dog put to sleep then use all training methods and that's and that's awful we have come a long way you know we're definitely doing better i've spoken to tons of purely positive trainers that were very anti-tool and when they see the way i use it many of them have changed their mind you know they've gone on record saying it they didn't know that we could do those things they only see it from one way so let's just keep doing the best we can to to better our situation and hopefully if we come together as a group we can make good things happen what do you think pal peace you're a good boy Patton. <laughs>